Welcome to the Motown India show. My name is Roy P. Tharian. We are here at Sri City in Andhra Pradesh. Sri City is approximately 200 odd kilometers from Chennai, the Detroit of South India. This is Isuzu Motors' own plant, their very own plant with a capacity of 50,000 units, which can be ramped up to 120,000 units. Here with me is the Isuzu D Max V Cross, an adventure utility vehicle, the first of its kind. There are already a whole lot of them in the commercial vehicle segment, but this is for the passenger vehicle segment. There is competition for the Mahindra Genio and the Tata Zeno, but that is not to be worried. This is an absolutely new 4x4 vehicle from the Isuzu stable and it promises to give you a massive adventure. It's, it promises to give you a lot of kick. This is a true off-roader and we are going to drive it and tell you how good it is. The V-Cross has been built on a ladder chassis and sits on 16-inch alloy wheels. This adventure utility vehicle has double wishbone independent front wheel suspension and at the rear it's got a long span rear leaf suspension. The Isuzu D-Max V-Cross adventure utility vehicle is powered by a 2.5 liter VGS turbo intercooled diesel engine. It's a four wheel drive and is mated to a five speed manual transmission. The engine is powerful. It turns out 134 HP, BS4 compliant and has a pretty high torque at 320 Newton meters and comes at levels of 1800 to 2800 RPM. And the best part is the Isuzu D-Max V-Cross is equipped with off-roading features like four-wheel drive, shift on fly drive mode, high ride suspension that offers high ground clearance, wider track with longer wheelbase. The chassis frame is designed with a new eye grip feature. It's basically an Isuzu gravity response intelligent platform that ensures greater stability even at high speeds and sharp curves. The uh, V-Cross has a cavernous boot. In fact, the first of its kind, you can actually uh, go and pick up your relatives and stash perhaps around uh, uh, five to six to seven suitcases here and in case you're feeling a little tired you can just put it up and go and, and, and put a mattress here and go to sleep it, it doubles up as a bed the space is huge as you can see you know this is a mammoth vehicle but handling it is quite easy and the and the steering wheel is quite responsive you know and if you really don't feel that you are driving a vehicle of this mammoth size. We are doing this test in a very limited area, so I can't really show you how smart this vehicle is. It is a 4x4, and if you notice, uh, while driving, you can shift it, your gears, uh, uh, with this little knob. You know, you can go while driving, you can shift it to 4 high or 4 low, depending on the terrain. It could be 4 low for sandy areas, 4 high for more rugged areas. And of course, when you're on the road, it's back to two-wheel drive. So uh, it's a five-speed manual transmission, which is quite easy to deploy. And uh, steering wheels can be adjusted for for the for the height. And overall, this has got a good, neat fit and finish. If you see the dash, it's quite uh, classy. In the plastic is quite smooth and um, and luxurious to. To a great extent so it doesn't give you an impression of a commercial vehicle of any type though its little brother is the d-max commercial vehicle if you see the ergonomics inside it's amazing this the, the knobs here the temperature settings you know and of course the steering wheel controls the v-cross has a spacious noise insulated cabin and of course the driver's seat is a wraparound six-way adjustable seat and interesting part is it's got a seven inch touchscreen audio system with USB input, DVD aux, iPod and Bluetooth connectivity. Large electrically foldable and adjustable ORVMs with turn signal indicators, host of storage compartments and cup holders. Mind you, this is an extremely short drive we have done, you know, in the limited space. It's a new plant 
They still have to build a track, track facility here, uh, but the little makeshift area they build is just very limited in space and to test such a wonderful vehicle on such a short track is not fair. So we will bring this vehicle back to you when it's officially launched in a month's time perhaps, in a couple of months time and then we'll do an extremely full review. But my opinion is that this vehicle is absolute value for money at around 15 lakhs or so because it's the first time that such a vehicle has come uh, into the Indian market very different from the existing pickup vehicles which are commercial this is a passenger's vehicle and one needs to change one's mindset we are not in the compact SUV mode right now here inside we are into the pickup mode and you have to appreciate that this vehicle is differently styled very differently built and it's not going to appeal to a whole lot of people because of the aesthetic appeal because it's got a broad area for luggage and just enough space for five people to five adults to sit so if you change your mindset and you think that this is rugged vehicle is the ideal off-roading vehicle for you buy the Isuzu D Max V Cross adventure utility vehicle I am Roy P Tharian I'm signing off on behalf of Motown India bye bye I hope you enjoyed the show This is the Bentley Bentayga and Bentley is calling it the most luxurious, the most exclusive and the fastest SUV. And they have all the right to say that. 